Barb, by the time you get this, we'll be on our way home, so don't write me back here. It's hard to believe this summer's almost over. So much has happened. The show, getting used to life up here, painting more than I have in years, losing Grandma Jo, figuring out where Dan and I are. Part of me doesn't want to leave, but I know it's time. They say you can't go home again. I think I know what that means now. I don't have it in me to explain everything here, but things will never be the same. I don't even know what home I'm going back to. The only thing I do know is that I'm ready to start painting again. For real, like I did before Tommy. I'm scared and excited and nervous all at the same time. I just wish I knew how we were going to make it work. I hope this finds you well. Yours, Linda. It's what I want to do. I just talked things over with Dan, and we really have some serious thinking to do. The job at Hardesty sounds like a great opportunity for him, but moving would be so hard on us. I really want to join Art for All, and after everything we've been through with Tommy, it would be better for him to have some stability. I could even go full-time if Dan found a steady job, though I know he can't do that if he takes on extra tutoring with Tommy, and I'd never fault him for that. If we stay in Laurenton and Dan works with Tommy, I could still do the program part-time. Either way, it'd be better for Tommy and me than moving. But I know that professorship would mean so much to Dan. Can't everything be simple just once? This could be it. An associate professorship at Hardesty? It's entry level, sure, but everyone has to start somewhere, and it's the perfect situation for writing. The sabbatical program alone makes the job worth it, and the thought of actually working with Professor May? Wait, I guess I'd be calling him Philip now. That'll take some getting used to. But moving's a big step. I can't imagine a new school with new kids would be easy for Tommy. I know staying in Laurenton would be better for him and Linda, but they aren't handing out professorships on the corner. This isn't the kind of offer you pass up without a very good reason. But I might have two good reasons. Tried to sleep on it last night. What a joke. You have to be able to sleep for that to work. Paul, there were days when I thought this moment would never come. When I finish writing this, I'm going to pack everything up and drop the manuscript in the mail. My palms are sweating just thinking about letting it go. I had no idea how hard it would be to finish this one. It took everything I had, and it's hard to look back over the summer without laughing. 
to think the plan was to get away from everything and just focus on the book. But you can't get away from yourself. Life doesn't give a damn about geography. I don't know when you'll get this or where we'll be when you do. Or what you'll think. I know what I think, but objectivity left the building months ago. Some days I think this is the one. Other days I have a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach that says my career is over. All I can do is drop this in the mail and hope. Here goes. How long is the drive? Two hours. We'd have to move. Paul gave it to me today. He was righteously pissed about missing that reading. Well, I don't know. I don't think he's pissed at me exactly. He knows why I missed the reading. Grovefield came down hard on him and he had to vent somewhere more likely. But still, damn. The worst part is the chapter still needs work. I have to find some time to clean it up. Soon. You'd make new ones, buddy. You'd make new ones, buddy. What about my friends? You'd make new ones, buddy. You can say it, if I got a real job. I could even go full time if... We just got back from the funeral. It was even harder than I expected, but it was moving to see just how many people loved Grandma Jo. She really was a special woman. Dan was there every step of the way, even though we got in a lot of trouble for missing that book signing. I don't think it's fair how mad they got at him about that. It was a funeral. But I guess that doesn't count for much in the business world. Having fun? Yeah! I'm faster! Hey, look! Having fun?
Do you? 